I th think that if we to maximise the opportunity of the centenary, we have to see it as a learning opportunity and a learning opportunity for us. This is not about remembering something that in fact none of us remember because that seems to me rather a futile exercise. Um, and it's not about honouring people we never knew. Um, not that we should dishonour them, but I mean that too is very hard to achieve. Um, you, you know, w w if we honour those who died, um, do we equally honour those who died in their beds at home, who are members of our family? Why should we privilege particularly those who fought and were killed um, because they were in uniform? Um, so, I, I, you know, I think this is a war from which we are now sufficiently distant, fought by people whom we may have known if they survived, and I'll come to that point in a minute, but, 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 we, 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 but for those who died, we, we almost certainly did not know. So what, how should we approach it? I mean, it, I think the first issue is we must have questions rather than answers. If we think we know this war, um, then we're not going to learn anything. If we're pretty clear that we don't know as much as we ought to, and all the opinion poll evidence that we have from UK institutions over the last couple of years shows that people uh, want to know, there is a very high expectation in the United Kingdom that we should mark this centenary, I'm of the order of high 80% approval rating to sort of 90% approval rating, but equally extraordinary levels of ignorance um, and, and no idea really who the other belligerents are, a pretty cl clear idea that Germany is the enemy, but uncertain who Britain's allies are, uncertain uh, who the prime minister is, those, that, 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 that sort of ignorance. So if we approach with questions, we've got an opportunity to learn. Um, and I think there's also a sort of natural parallel with a four-year evolution. Because if, you, if we begin in 1914, again in 2014, and we approach it without the preconceptions of trenches, Western Front, futility, waste, whatever other cliche we, we, we want to live with, then what we are left with is the uncertainty, the apprehension, the sense of surprise, the shock, all those emotions that people did express uh, when the war broke out but with no certainty as to what the outcome is going to be. Um, and we need to travel the same journey in some ways to, we, we, to, 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 to get close to that. Uh, to, and to recognize, of course, that the apprehension and shock that people might have felt in 1914 did not necessarily translate into a grave on the Western Front. Um, that of those who served in the British Armed Forces in the First World War, 88% came home. 